this, I have not gotten this camera fixed yet. This is the one. Let me see if I can show you. Do you see those scratches on the lens right there? Yep, those are the scratches that I got when it fell into the rock when I was, uh, when I was on my Catskills trip in the big Indian wilderness. What you're gonna notice is you're gonna notice some very, very bad artifacts in the upper left, in the upper right corner of all the footage. On top of that, you're also going to notice because um, when I went and did Slide Mountain, everything seemed fine with this camera in terms of audio. Uh, towards the end of Hunter Mountain, uh, that there were some very, very bad audio ticks and pops. Uh, if I shake the camera, I can kind of hear something loose in there. Uh, the audio quality, as the video goes on, you could hear it. You could definitely hear it degrading over time. Uh, so there is definitely something with the microphone. Ooh, you're gonna kind of notice that in the first half of this video, um, I'm very tired. <laughs> for the first trip for Slide Mountain, I, uh, I woke up that morning on Friday. I went to work, I put my full day of work in. I came home, I came home and then uh, tried to fall asleep and could not fall asleep for the life of me. So my cat woke me up at about 5.15 on Friday morning and I was awake until I got home a little before 12 noon on Saturday. So I was awake for quite some time. My plan with these two summits was I wanted to do both of them as a day hike where I left my apartment, I drove to the trailhead, I did the hike, I got back to the Jeep and came back to my apartment. So that's the way I wanted to do both of them. Now luckily for me, the Catskills is only about two hours and 20 minutes away from me. Um, so that was the minimum amount of time that I was looking to drive uh, each way to get to the trailheads. Just as a quick little note, I uh, just wanna say that I really appreciate uh, the support that I get and the comments that I get. Uh, it really, I know it might not seem it and that's really only because of my overall kind of persona, but I really do appreciate it. And with that said, let's go ahead and roll this. my 46 years on this planet, I've learned that the line between a brilliant idea and sheer stupidity is really, really thin. I'm in the Catskills right now on my way to the trailhead for Slide Mountain. And my plan is, as soon as I get there, I'm going to get my stuff situated. And I'm going to hit the trail and start heading towards the summit trying to get there before the sun comes up because I want to be up there for the sunrise. here. Alright, I just Ooh. A little cold. A little cold here. Alright, so that's the way we're gonna be going off. I gotta put the bottom of my pants on. Fifty-seven degrees right here. Uh, let's see. Oh, it just said sixty. I don't know about that. Okay. 
get in there. It's like 12.35 right now, 12.40, so it's late, <laughs> early, however you want to look at it. Alright, get my GPS, yeah, I'll tell you what time it is, 12.48. Alright, let me get the map, and uh, let me do this, and then, don't know how much am I going to actually uh, film heading up. So, we'll see. Maybe every so often I'll pull this out just real quick and update you where I am. It's only 2.7 up the slide, so it actually shouldn't take me too long to get up there. To the first junction already. Alright. So, this is where we're going to start gaining all the elevation now is in the next two miles. Yeah, we're trucking along. Got like 1.1 miles left. Sweating. Ooh, sweating like crazy. It's so humid back here. <sighs> but the hike so far has been really nice. I mean, a couple little spots where it was, you know, a little steep, but man, for the most part, I've just been trucking along. It feels good. Air temperature is really nice right now. <sighs> here we go. <sighs> Slide mountain. Tagged. And that's it. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing here. This is just part of the uh, part of the footings, the foundation from the uh, old fire tower. Used to be here. I've got to get my shirt on because it is mighty chilly up here. There's a couple of nice views. Just a couple hundred feet back, but uh. Naturally, you can't see anything oh, right now. Ooh, all right. Time to get that shirt on. There we go. Ooh. Oh, let's put this down. So, I have now... Huh, So it took me one hour and 46 minutes to get up here. Not bad. 2.72 miles. Good stuff. Sun will be up in three hours, so I'm just going to kind of chill out for a bit. I'm going to make some coffee in a few minutes. Coffee, coffee time, coffee time at 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh that works out perfect because those lookouts are all pointing, all pointing northeast. So the sun should be coming up back over there somewhere. All right. That's nice. Warm. <laughs> oh, the stars are absolutely amazing right now. Oh, wish you could see them. I do have this. So I'm going to get that set up in a few minutes as soon as my coffee is going, which it looks like we're getting there. Doesn't need the boil. This water is from home, so it is clean. What is that thing?
It is about 4.30 right now. I think, I think I have a good idea of where, where the sun's going to be coming up. So, I'm just going to head back up, start getting all my stuff packed, and then start uh, deciding where I'm going to set everything up. Which I think, well, I'm kind of liking that spot down there better because it's less obstructed than the other spot. The other spot is the old lookout that used to be one of the best views. But uh, over the years, the trees finally grew, and now the view is partially blocked, so you don't get really good views anymore. Yeah, so the sky is actually starting to turn a little bit. So I'm just going to run down here real quick and check out this plaque. Let's see what this is all about. This right here is the old, this is the old lookout. You can see the trees now, the trees have all grown in. Uh, I gotta go down there, down below these rocks. So where was that, over here? Yeah, there's a little, uh, there's a little plaque plaque down here, what a story. This right here, there was some dude's, uh, dude's campsite right here. There we go. In memory, John Burroughs. There we go. I'll let you guys read it. I have been awake for just over 24 hours now, so... Uh, I can't really read this too well. I'll let you guys do it. There you go. things on there. This little little cave right here. Moon. Yeah, man, what a what a fantastic hike up here, let me tell you. And the thing is I got up here I got up here so early because for some reason I thought it was gonna take me forever to get up here. And then when I started hiking, it was just, oh, it was like phenomenal hiking conditions. Temperature was perfect. Everything was perfect. The trail wasn't wet. I was in a t-shirt the whole time until I got to the summit. Oh, it was beautiful. And then I got treated to a whole lot of Mother Nature's stars. I've walked up and down this path probably six times now. <laughs> that was the first time I went down to go check out the thing now. That's pretty cool. There's another one down there. About two guys, uh, two guys that perish in the White Mountains. So I gotta find that one when I'm, uh, when I'm heading back. It'll be a lot easier when it's light out. Oh, the sky's starting to get blue now. Nice. <laughs> almost time, almost time. Getting there. Oh, let's see. And the summit is up that way. And 
in about 25 minutes or so, I will be heading back that way. There we go. Sun is just about up over the clouds. Sun's been up for a little while. Just been waiting for it to break the clouds. And I just want to watch it kind of fill, fill in the valleys as it gets higher. Really glad I did this. And now I have just Hunter Mountain left to do. And then at least for the mountains for the Northeast 111, um, I'll have the Catskills all taken care of. And I'll tell you, for as easy as this hike was getting up here, because honestly, an hour and 48 minutes, I basically just chugged all the way up. I hardly even stopped. I should have went and did Hunter, uh, should have went and did Hunter today. Alright. This, I'm going to end. I still got to drive home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not quite sure why I did this. Well, I know why I did this. I mean, I wanted to climb Slide Mountain. But I mean, doing it the way I did it. <laughs> you know, most normal people will show up at the trailhead at like 5.30 in the morning, 6, and start hiking. I'm expecting I'm going to probably pass a few people. But, uh... <laughs> Who shows up at 12.45 and reaches the summit at 2.30? I guess it's good to test yourself once in a while. Oh. You see, I think I could go this way. My plans did not include that. Oh, wait a second, though. I think there might be some overlooks that way. I think we're gonna go this way. What's the worst that happens, right? <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna check my map for a minute, hold on. All right, I was right with what I was thinking. So this right here, in 1.6, I'm gonna have to hang it right onto uh, yellow. But for right now, I'm on the long path. One of these days I'm going to throw right that whole thing. I just have to hit the lotto first so I don't have to work anymore. Looks like it keeps going over there, but yeah, I'm not gonna go there. Ooh, deep hole. Coming back this way was a uh, was a good idea. I'm enjoying this section of uh, the long path. Campsite. the fire ring right there. I was going to actually go back there and mark it, but I'm not going through all these ferns. It just seems like uh, asking for trouble with ticks. So, it's bad enough. Do I look tired? I feel tired. Oh. I feel tired. Yeah. 
I guess I am getting some views coming this way. <laughs> oh god. Ooh, that goes all the way down here. I didn't think I was going to be able to get down here and see it like this. Oh, I'm not going to figure out how I'm going to get down here without killing myself. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Wow, look at that. If I wasn't so tired, I would set this camera up and like take some shots and do some stuff, but honestly I feel like I'm about to pass out. Another camp. I see the path right there. I guess it's a little ways back. Alright, cool. Let me mark this one too. So there it is. miles and we're done. Oh. oh, got all the sun coming in now. Nice. Oh, it's still nice and cool back here. Last junction. We are back in the Jeep. All signed out. Oh, it has been a heck of a night. <laughs> what time is it? 8.16. So I've now been awake for 27... Wait, 27? Oh, I don't even know. I lost track of how long I've been awake. I can't even think. <laughs> so Slide Mountain, Catskills, New York. Do it during the day. Definitely do it during the day. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. Time to start driving. I will uh, pick up with this later. to get a whole bunch of change there. Right. <laughs> yep, no worries. And here we are back. Just getting my stuff settled. We are back on the trail. I am eating a corn muffin. Let me uh, do this real quick. Real quick. Alright. Oh. Alright, so, hold on here. Let's get hiking. 
is 5.30 right now. I'm going to spare you all the pain of having to sit through eight or nine minutes of dark footage like you just had to do at the beginning of this video. <laughs> it's going to be getting light out pretty soon. I don't know what's going on with the rain though. I did see some lightning on my way up and actually I feel a couple raindrops right now so looks like I might be getting the uh, looks like I might be getting the rain gear out pretty quick here. <laughs> I didn't think it was supposed to rain. They were saying it was going to be clear until at least like 12 or 1. Uh, I'm going to keep going for a little bit. We'll see if it picks up. Then I'll get my stuff out. <sighs> Finally light enough. Finally light enough to start recording a little bit. Alright, what do we got? 1.7 left. Not bad. I think there's a couple people at the lean-to also. A little something new. If you can't kind of see it a little bit. Threw all the sweat on my shirt. I hear the spring. Which means the lean-to should be around here as well. Yeah, I still got 0.3. Not that way. Nice. Hitching post for the horses. This is all the horse path. This one going all the way up. So, if anyone, if anyone wants to bring their horse, I would run into them as the horse was coming up the trail. All right, all right, on we go. And the clouds, the clouds are definitely starting to break up nice. So I am happy about that. Lean to should be close. I can smell a campfire. I think that's it right there. Got some signage here. That will actually go to the actual ski resort, I believe. One mile ago. Whew. I tell you, once you get above 3,600 feet, it really levels out. It's kind of making me wonder where I'm going to be gaining that last 350 feet of uh, elevation. Oh, I almost walked right by this. What's this? What is this? Got a little, got a little view, a little view something something. Ah, oh, beautiful. So nice. Ho! Oh, ooh, I didn't even realize I was that close to the edge of such a big drop. Ho, 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 ho. I did not think I was that close to the edge. Alright, so this fire tower should be around here somewhere. I tell you, this last mile has been basically like this, it's all flat. Beautiful. There we go. Wow. That last few hundred feet of gain was all in like two tenths of a mile. Ain't no one up here either.
Got my water's heating for my coffee. Good, good. While that's happening, the high point is over here. Most people think it's the actual tower, but that is not the case. You gotta come over here to this rock right here. You're gonna see there's a yellow arrow on it. Right there. That yellow arrow. So right here. Hunter Mountain. Tagged. Yeah. Tagged, baby. Tagged. Next. As soon as my coffee's done, we're going up there. And that's where I'm having my coffee. That's going to be nice. So far, only ran into two guys. They were on their way down. Alright, it's almost done. Good. Thing is high. I have just the slightest fear of heights. But I'm going up anyway. Alright, coffee's done. Let's start climbing. So far nobody else coming up. I don't know how high up I'm actually going. Gotta see how windy it is up there. leave the coffee right there so I can actually hold on to the railing. Sorry for the wind. Nothing I can do about it. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm not going all the way up. <laughs> Wind is, uh, oof. Wind's a little, wind's a little strong up here. Awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, Hunter Mountain. made it up here in just under, oh, let me get my coffee, made it up here in just under two hours, it was about 7.22, yeah, it was about 7.22 when I got up here, and I got on a trail at 5.29, so, it's not bad for three and a half miles. Oh, man. Awesome. What a hike. What a hike. And it's only half over. Alright, I've got to check my notes here. There's a lookout somewhere here. 
Uh, Fire Tower Summit. Oh, it's past this. Okay. This is what was on my back, which is the Kelpie Red Wing 32. Uh, I just picked this up. Very nice back. Very comfortable. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I have nothing bad to say about it right now. Of course, this is only the first time out with it, so... We'll see. I realized the last time when I came into Slide Mountain that the outdoor research pack that I was using uh, was a little bit too small. So... I needed something that could fit the DSLR plus food, this, and still have some room. This one is, so far, everything fit beautifully. Everything fit beautifully in there. So, at some point, I will... Uh, Still kind of formulating my opinion so I want to keep going the rest of the season peak bagging with that up in New Hampshire and I want to see how that does and then I think in the fall when for once for once I will actually go over all of the gear that I use I don't change my gear often so, <laughs> that uh, outdoor research backpack I've had since I was hiking up in, uh, up in Klondike, up in Alaska. So, I've had that one a while. There is an outhouse right over there. Coffee's doing its job. So far, nobody has shown up. We'll see, though. Give it another 20 minutes or so. I'm sure there's some people heading up. Such a gorgeous day, I can't see how there's not. Fire Tower 5 Challenge. Hmm. Sure. Another challenge. Something else for me to have to work on. <laughs> I'm already doing New Hampshire 48, the Northeast 111. Which, actually, now that I summited this one, I don't have to come back to the Catskills and do any more, uh, do any more mountains for that. Now I could just come back and do some Nice long backpacking trips. National Geographic map. <laughs> hmm. 68. Feels it. It's warm up here. Feels good. Hmm. So, when I took the Slide Mountain trip last weekend, two days before I left, I don't know if I mentioned this in that video, which actually would be this video. Yeah. Yeah, probably 25, 30 minutes ago. 
<laughs> so yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I hit my hundredth subscriber two days before I went on that trip. It was, uh, I'm going to put his name up. I'm going to put his name up on the screen right now. So he was, he was my 100th subscriber. Unbelievable. It only took me five years. <laughs> nah, honestly, in 2014, when I took that cruise, and then I was up in Alaska, and I had the opportunity to do some hiking, that was really all I was going to do, was just that one trip, and then that was it. I was really doing it more just for family. And then I started going up to New Hampshire more, and I started climbing to New Hampshire 48, and I started filming those trips. And then I started filming other trips. And then more and more trips got filmed. Now I've invested money and a lot of time in editing these things. <laughs> so. But, now the way I see it, oh, I think this is that junction I was looking for. Yeah, the way I see it is, hey, I'm in, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. So, I got no qualms about it. I'm not used to getting views here. I don't know, I'm skeptical. Maybe I shouldn't be skeptical. I think... say that is a view oh yeah oh that was worth it Got some storms that are going to be pushing in in a few hours. That's why I'm actually starting to head back already. I wasn't planning on staying out here very long. I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to summit Hunter, uh, and then just kind of maybe take like an hour and a half, two hours to hike back down. And so far, it looks like I'm probably going to luck out and make it back down before it rains. What was I talking about before I, uh, before I wound up hitting that junction there? Oh, oh, um, 100 subscribers. Yeah. So, I think I already said I was going to put his name up, but just in case, uh, I'm also going to put a link to his YouTube channel down in the description. And, uh, Sorry, man, I don't have anything to, like, give away or anything like that, so. <laughs> like I said, honestly, I'm even surprised I have as many views as I do. And I'm actually surprised I hit 100 subscribers. Because I really don't advertise up until about three and a half weeks ago. When I really buckled down and started playing with the SEO and everything else, really, my growth was very, very static. And plus, who wants to see a 46-year-old dude trudging around through the woods, <clears throat> being a dumbass most of the time? Yeah, there's just a chipmunk. is back there. I don't know. Don't know which way I have to go from here. Ah, I 
see a red one. I see a red one down there. No tents, tarps, or camping. I don't, I don't know what lean-to this is. Let me take a look real quick. Alright, so it's a uh, Devil's Acre. That's the lean-to that I'm at right now. Cool. I won't hit Diamond Notch. Wow, I'm almost done. 2.9. Huh. 2.9 and I'm done. Okay. 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 It's a nice little lean-to site. Don't like the fact that the trail cuts right through it, though. Oh, what do I find? Oh, nice. Whew. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, so nice. I think I'm gonna chill here for uh I'm gonna chill here for a few minutes, get some water. Boy. Let's see, what do I got coming up? Uh, that's what, August. So, last week of August, uh, I'll be up in New Hampshire. I want to finish the Pemi Loop and do the other side, so do the bonds, and I might even throw in a couple of a uh, couple of other ones since it'll be a shorter trip. I think if I do go to the Adirondacks this year, I think I'm going to check out the. Uh, is it the West Canada Lakes region, which is right past Spruce Lake. So it's the next set of lakes up from there. Well, something's telling me I'm not going to be able to check out the falls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I might be bypassing these. <sighs> yeah, we'll see. I'll get down there. Uh, That's what I'm missing. Could have went down there and got some nice pictures of that waterfall. That's really nice. I tell you, I don't even want to stop because the bugs are so bad. Oh, we got here a little waterfall kind of thing going on. trip is just about done. So, I want to thank you all for hanging around. Considering, uh, I was going to do this in two parts and then decided at the last minute to just jam it all into one gigantic video. I just got to figure out how to get over, get over to where I parked. I don't know exactly, uh, I don't know exactly how to do that. Right. I just passed the second parking lot, it was right there. So I am assuming, just looking at the GPS, I am not actually at the trailhead that I parked at yet, so this is pretty cool, I guess.
right, so let's close this out. Slide Mountain last weekend, Hunter Mountain this weekend. So out of the Northeast 111, the Catskills is clear. So up next, if I don't get up to New Hampshire before the end of the month, then it looks like probably the other half of the Pemi Loop is going to be my next trip. From the Catskill Mountains of New York, I am signing off for now, and I will check you all next time I decide to go somewhere. right what I was thinking. Alright, I was right with what Oh wait a second. Oh sh I went the wrong way. I didn't mean to come up this way. <laughs> <laughs>